up? I'm Cody Schneider, uh, the homie. New GSR asked for some uh, uh, Google Data Studio for GMB dashboard stuff. Um, so I'm going to show you how to do that. Let's dive in. Okay, so to begin with, um, I'm just going to use um, some clients' data. Uh, first off, one of the things that sucks about um, Data Studio is that there isn't a built-in connector for Google My Business, even though it's a Google My or even though it's a uh, Google-owned property. So you have to use um, a connection software um, to basically like <laughs> bridge that data. You have to use some type of data pipeline. Um, and I'll show you what I mean by it not being present. So if we search, uh, maybe, will it let us? There we go, Google My Business. Um, there isn't a built-in connector from Google, so you have to use Supermetrics. Um, I totally advise Supermetrics. Uh, it's one of the best, or it's the best data pipeline I've used. Um, the price is a little steep, um, but it's totally worth it, uh, especially if you're doing client work and you need to do reporting. So um, I've already got that connected, so I'm just not going to do that. So let me just walk through some of the core dashboards that I typically build. Um, so some of the things I look at is the impression data over a period of time. So if you optimize the profile and you're trying to prove that that optimization actually worked, typically I just blow that out over um, a 12 month period. Um, so what you can do is go to the advanced. We're gonna then change this 12 and then months and then months, hit apply. Awesome. Okay, so um, doesn't look like anything, right? Uh, yeah, so there's an easy way to fix that. And then go into um, the date section and we're gonna change the date type. Or sorry, not the date type. Um, we'll change the granularity um, to your month. And what it's gonna do is aggregate all of that impression data together. And then I'm gonna create some styles on here. So let's do show points, show data labels. Nice. All right. And suddenly I have a graph. So let's talk through some of the different types of um, data that you can graph on a month over month basis. So I'm just going to duplicate this out. Um, so a direct search impression is when they're searching uh, for something related to your brand. Um, but there's a few other options. Um, or sorry, yeah, they're going like directly to, actually, I don't even know. Let's see, branded versus, it looks like a branded search interface. Oh yeah, so brand is way more. I typically just graph total search impressions. So that will give you an actual impression number. And yeah, like this is, you know, that's, crazy what you can do with just like a little bit of profile optimization. Um, some of the other things I typically look at is uh, map views versus, versus search views. So then with those impressions, you can see views on map. So again, upward trend. And then we'll also look at the search impressions um, so this is any time that this gets served with, uh, within google.com, not within Google Maps. So again, we'll go down to views on search. And so this would be when the map pack happens. So an example of that is like, let me just search like physical therapy near me. Right, so this moment right here, this would be a search impression or this number two, or views on search. And then if they were actually on Google Maps and then did that same search, so physical therapy near me, this would be a map impression or if they're on the mobile device. Um, all right, some other things I track um, will be phone calls. 
just like, are we seeing greater amounts of leads? This is really in particular to clients that um, have a lot of, um, uh, clients that have a lot of, uh, uh, like they're looking for lead gen. So we're doing these optimizations for lead gen purposes rather than um, for like more like service-based businesses. I guess they're kind of all the same. Um, but it, I feel like there's a difference between, like, for example, a commercial real estate agent and, say, like a you know a medical clinic. Um, but with that, though, uh, some of the other things that I'm looking at is the um, the photo or the image impressions. Really, it's just like the amount of media that's being seen. Um, so something else in the data source that you can change is you can actually look at specific location. So if you have a client that has like multiple uh, different um, addresses um, within a, uh, sorry, multiple different Google Maps listings um, within a Google My Business account, um, what you can do is you can actually select those specific accounts um, and then the compare them uh, side by side. So an example of that um, is we're looking at all of the accounts, but you can select individual ones if you're wanting to. Um, and I'm not going to do those changes. Let me discard. This is an example of kind of some of the th core things I'm looking at. And then uh, some of the other things. I'm really focusing on is like phone calls, and then you could actually do by the name of the location. So location name. And this will graph it side by side, which is sweet. So if you're trying to understand like what's the composition of this impression data, uh, you can see that pretty clearly. So it looks like phone calls is a good example. Let's just do like a total impressions. Total search impressions. Yeah, it's going to be the same thing. So I might have to filter it or turn it into a different file type. Yeah, so we'll delete that month, year. Change the dimension to this location name. And then we should be able to see, there we go. And then we're gonna filter by the number of search impressions. So rather than the date, filter by impressions, total search impressions. Here we go, descending. Boom, there it is. So you can see all five locations um, that you've selected and the total search impressions for that time period. So I'm just gonna turn on auto because it's gonna do like the last 28 days. And you can see that composition or breakdown um, in that time period. And let's actually just look at, so here's our total search impressions. We can look at May. I'm gonna go custom and we're gonna select date range and select previous month or last month let's select last month you can see um, that these should all add up to that number so is that aggregate now with this though let's try to graph it let's see what happens <clears throat> Boom, there you go. And you got a comparison of um, specific locations by the search volumes. Um, I don't know if you can do this anymore, but you used to be able, let me see if you can search it, by zip code. Yeah, it doesn't have it anymore. Let me look in, let's see, geography, if there's any geography. Screw 
Oh shit. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. Not with here's one. So maybe you have photo views um, by customers. This is awesome. And you can look at the number of photo views by each clinic or by each location. And then this is kind of an easy way to like know, hey, like where do I need to add like photos um, to my listing? So for example, um, purple and the orange, they probably have listings. And then the blue, the orange, and the teal, they don't. So the blue, orange, teal, those are going to be easy ones. Just add photos there and you're going to like increase the amount of uh, photo impressions that you get uh, from customers. So cool, man. Um, yeah, if you have any questions, comment below. Um, happy to go through more stuff like this. So cheers.